All right, interfaces. An interface is much like a parent class or base class. It defines a sort of contract that all classes inheriting from need to follow. An interface can contain properties, methods, events, and if there's any of those declared within an interface, anything that inherits from that interface needs to be implemented within an inheriting class. An interface declares what a class should have, and the class that it inherits from defines how it should do it exactly. So here's an example. We'll create three classes, rabbit, hawk, and fish, and two interfaces, prey and predator. All right, now let's create two interfaces. To create an interface, you type interface and then the name of the interface. However, a common naming convention with interfaces is that you precede the interface name with capital I. So if we would like a prey interface, we would type I prey. And then let's create a predator interface. Interface I predator. Now with these interfaces, we can pretty much declare anything within these interfaces. But if one of these classes would like to inherit from this interface, they need to implement anything declared within them. So let's say that if you're prey, then you need a method to flee because you're fleeing from predators. I'm going to declare a flee method, void flee. We will declare it but not implement it. Implementing this method is the job of the inheriting class that would like to use this interface. Let's say that rabbits will inherit this interface I prey, colon I prey. And in order to do so, we need to implement this method of flee within the rabbit class in order to use it. Public void flee. And then be sure to add a body to this method. So when we invoke this method, let's write the rabbit runs away. Okay, now we can create a rabbit object. Rabbit rabbit equals new rabbit. And I bet there's a flea method, rabbit.flea. And let's try it. The rabbit runs away. Now let's have our hawk class inherit this predator interface. Now with our predator interface, let's create a method to hunt. Void hunt. We will declare it but not implement it. Implementing this method is the job of the classes inheriting this interface. So hawk will inherit the i predator interface, but we need to implement that hunt method. Public void hunt. And then let's display the hawk is searching for food. And we can create a hawk object. Hawk hawk equals new hawk. So let's take a look at our hawk object. Hawk dot and there's no flea method because we're not implementing the prey interface. We're implementing the predator interface. So there is a hunt method and not a flea method. Hawk.hunt. The hawk is searching for food. Now with interfaces, you can inherit more than one, unlike with standard inheritance. So fish, they could be both prey and predators. To inherit two interfaces after the colon, you can separate each with a comma. So fish will inherit the I prey and I predator interfaces, but now they need to implement both of these methods, flee and hunt. So let's do so. Public void flee. The fish swims away. And now we need to implement that hunt method. Public void hunt. The fish is searching for smaller fish. All right, now let's create a fish object. Fish, fish equals new fish. So fish have both a flea and a hunt method. Fish.flea, fish.hunt. The fish swims away. The fish is searching for smaller fish. So an interface defines a sort of contract that all classes inheriting from should follow. An interface declares 
what a class should have, and the inheriting class defines how it should do it. The benefits of using interfaces, for one, is that you can inherit multiple interfaces, unlike with standard inheritance. There's added security, and this gives us a plug-and-play style of coding because anything that has the same interface will definitely have the same implemented methods and properties, so you can swap these out for like a different creature if you would like. So yeah, those are interfaces. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.